right. Hello and welcome to the RPG Academy. All right. Well, to Michael plays the classics from the RPG Academy podcast Twitch channel. I'm the aforementioned Michael. Today we are back with some additional Warcraft Orcs and Humans, the 1994 uh, PC game. We are currently going through our second campaign. I've finished Humans already. I'm now moving on to the Orc campaign. And today we're going to start and hopefully try to finish Mission 4. This is another one of those... Um, in the cave situations, so sorry. Oh, once again, trying to get everything set up so I can actually see chat. We will see how if I'm successful today or not. All right. See, I wasn't sure if I actually had to have a fresh dead body before I could raise it. Apparently you do. So I know this is one of those it's a situation where it's basically the same setup as the human campaign. As I, I had mentioned, there's a strong overlap between them and like what you do um, and even how the missions are laid out. So... Yeah, we're going to basically do the same thing we always do. We're going to line up some people. We're going to put our ranged people behind there and then try to lead people to their death. And of course, my internet connection is terrible. So... Now, I don't know if the the map is exactly the same. Like, is it? Oh, big boy. this door see if that'll help with my this is oh oh no run away run away run away run away come here come here come here come here all right so yep still not working okay I wonder can can my uh, necromancers raise a giant body or an ogre body? No, that's disappointing. So I'm having different problems today. So if anybody is watching and you're trying to chat with me, my apologies, it doesn't seem to be working. Um, usually I have trouble because I can't see the chat, uh, but right now I can't even get it to pull up on my iPad. So hopefully the stream is still working. We need to move everybody around.
we'll try to go this way first. As best I can tell, the stream is working. Ah! But I can't get the chat to work. Like what I mean is I can't even get my, my computer to connect to it. I think like there's a problem with my Wi-Fi. My internet uses, is usually terrible, but this seems to be a little bit different. So, yeah, again, my apologies. I, you know, I, I don't have a lot of people chatting, but I occasionally have one or two. So my apologies if anyone is there. Uh, but anyway, I will carry on. Uh, so my strategy for these, very simple and straightforward. It's very cumbersome and slow, but I pretty much line up uh, my frontline soldiers, put my ranged behind them, and then I send out one lone person to explore. And whenever I have contact with the enemy, if I'm able to, use them to kind of draw the, uh, the enemies back into sort of the meat grinder of those defensive line. that's an actual way to go or if it's just like a little sort of bump on the map. Oh, uh, he's dead. These things move faster than I do. Pretty sure. Usually not. Wow, there are a lot of those things. Oh, and there's a giant. That is not good. Because those... Uh, Snot monsters don't do a lot of damage, I remember, but they take a little while to kill. And that means that all my people are going to be very busy trying to do that. While that ogre gets up there. So my only hope is that... Uh, I can get my people to focus on the right thing. There we go. Okay. So yeah, these things, like I said, they don't seem to do a lot of damage. But they, it takes a while to kill them. Yeah, 
Your wife, I, nothing I told you to do would be that. Why, why are you doing that? Why? Okay. All things considered, that was probably about the best I could hope for. See, I'm wondering, is this a full-on area that needs explored? Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah, that's not good at all. Okie dokie, so now I'm still confused. My memory of the other levels is that it really wasn't, like the, the choices were pretty much straightforward, but I could be mistaken. All right, that's not as bad then. Okay, I thought that went further. So, okay, it's about what I thought then. Okay, so we just need to send everybody to here. So we'll see everybody uh, down in there, rebuild our defensive wall, and then start exploring again. Like I said, I know it's not the most exciting strategy in the world, but uh, it does seem to work. All right, looks like the Wi-Fi is back up. Doki. Okay, here we go. And now we are back to more exploring. Okay, I kind of thought uh, I got most of them the first time.
right, so again, we will do some exploring. Okay. I guess they're really serious about the snot monsters this level. It's lucky that they are, they don't do more damage. Okay, once again, did not want to activate two of these guys at the same time. That's bad. Come on, Spearman, do your jobs and do them well. Did not expect to be able to get through that without losing somebody. Trust in the process, right? Okay. I take little steps here to let my line of sight help me out a little bit more. Which I know is the better strategy, but my uh, compulsiveness and impatience kind of works against that. Looks like there's a way over here. So does this continue on or is that the way I need to go? I'm still not sure. This looks like uh, this keeps going. So my guess is that this is the way that it goes. So I'm going to take a chance 
use this guy to search in here. I'm gonna send the other guy back a little bit just to hedge my bet so I don't get him killed because I'm not paying attention and I miss the red dot. Because based on everything else I've seen, I would expect that there will be enemies in this little spot here. And I'm hoping that also it's a pretty shallow tunnel and that I won't have to do a lot of exploring in here. But, uh, yeah, joke's on me. I have absolutely no idea. Found one. Once again, hopefully my spearmen will do their jobs and uh, severely put the hurt on this guy before. Yep, before they have a chance to hurt me. I just scared myself. I saw the top of my own guy and was like, what's that? Okay. All right, yeah. I was hoping that that would be pretty much all there was. So, move you to here. Move you to here. Move you to here, you to here. You and yes, you also. So I don't want to do a lot more exploring just yet because um, I want to get all these people configured properly. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm still not happy with my setup in here. So do we think we go up here or continue on around and to the left? I could see either one being the way to go. 
because either way I've got to get up into this area. So uh, last night, the wife and I showed the pilot episode of Malcolm in the Middle. There we go. The old uh, dysfunctional family sitcom from, I think, the early 90s. Uh, we have two boys, one who's close to turning 13, the other who's 11. And, uh, you know, we have all the typical stuff you have when you have two boys. And I think they could uh, appreciate a little bit of uh, the life that, Malcolm has and maybe even appreciate a little more that they don't have parents exactly like his parents. So uh, both my boys, they were laughing quite a bit. They seem to enjoy it. So uh, I think we're going to keep watching it. Of course, they have other things they, you know, they want to do this and do that, play with their friends. So we got through one episode. It was like a 22 minute commitment and uh, I think they enjoyed it, but they didn't want to see any more last night. And I know that that pilot's um, quality was a little rough, I'll be honest with you. Like some of the cuts and just um, even the quality of like some of the shots compared to others. Maybe it's just, you know, how old it is and production values have changed, but uh, it looked quite rough for a show that, I mean, I guess that was the pilot. They had no idea at the time it was going to be successful, but for a show that, from my memory, it came pretty successful. I think it had like eight seasons. It, uh, it had a pretty rough start. All right. Let's see if we can get lucky again. <clears throat> nice. So my guess is that this will end up being the dead spot and that uh, I will need to go up over here to finish out the, the level. We shall see. So one of the things that's happened fairly recently with me, I think I've talked about this before, that I am uh, I'm back playing Dungeons and Dragons with my childhood best friends, the people I started playing D&D with, you know, 35 some odd years ago. And uh, looking at this map made me have a, a memory of one of the games we played. Like, I don't yet know what this is going to look like when it's completed, but we, we started here, if you can see the map. And there's this little bulbous area here. I'm going to bet that the final part of this map is somewhere in here. And uh, I remember I had built a dungeon that they were going through. And I thought it was really clever. It was, a, it was just a one level like cave structure that the final room of this cave structure was really close to the entrance. Like there was only like a five foot section of wall you know, it, it, much like this one, we kind of meandered around through these caves and back and forth. But ultimately, where they needed to go was almost right back where they started after they had gone through this long process. And uh, they decided on, at the time, what they see, said was just, just a whim because they had some excavation tools. They're like, hey, let's, let's see what happens if we just knock this wall down. And it was, of course, the wall that, was between the entrance area and the final room they were supposed to go through. And they tried to tell me that it was completely happenstance that they decided to do that. But I do not believe that for a second. I totally believe that they had got a look at my map because I'm sure I wasn't 
smart about it. I wasn't very protective. I probably made it easy on them to see and bypassed the entire dungeon. Now, back in the day when I did this adventure, very different DM than I am now. Uh, today, if, even if I had a map, which more than likely I wouldn't, but let's say I did, I would have just changed it. Like they wouldn't, wouldn't have found anything or that might have triggered a, a tunnel collapse or I would have found some other way to let that not actually be the, the bypass I win button that it was back then. But back in the day, I didn't know what to do. That was the map and they just got around everything. So I don't know if there's a moral story or a lesson other than maybe keep your maps hidden uh, and be flexible. Because I do think I don't think it's cheating at all to change things like that to make the experience more fun. And I, I mean, I think they had a sense of fun as players having outsmarted me, the dungeon master, but their characters, I thought, I think the experience of the, that actual game was pretty poor. All right. So I'm going to move everybody up again. All right. Hey, I finally got a skeleton. Not that I should be particularly excited about that, but uh, the good news is this should allow me to do some exploring pretty fast because I don't particularly care if this thing gets killed. So if it runs into a bad guy, I'm okay with it just continuing to kind of clear the map for me. I don't feel the need to turn around and try to bring it back to safety. So hopefully I'll be able to pretty much outline. Well, probably going to die. Yep. Yeah, but still, oh, there's three of them in there. Oh, no, there's this lady. Okay, I think that's who I have to rescue. I kind of didn't pay attention to the... Uh, the sort of the quest on this one, just because I, I remembered that you know it's it's one of these dungeon ones. It's pretty much go into the dungeon, clear everything out. So I didn't think it was as important to pay attention to that. We shall see if I come to regret that decision.
Hopefully that's about it for bad guys. There can't be much left anyways. It's all this treasure. I should be able to collect that. Oh, there we go. There's another baddie. Here, baddie, 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 baddie. Here, baddie, 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 baddie. Okay. So again, there can't be much left. We shall see. So the plan as of right now is that tomorrow I will come back and start level five. Hopefully I will be able to get through it in one attempt and within the time that I have available tomorrow. Uh, but then I will be out of, um, won't be able to stream, I should say, for that entire next week. So uh, there will be at least a week gap between my first attempt at level five and my first attempt, hopefully, at level six. Or maybe my second attempt at level five. We shall see. Oh, no. Wait, am I attacking her? What am I doing? Am I supposed to be attacking her? All right. Just in case, I'm going to do, because <laughs> again, I didn't read the, the summary of what I was supposed to do. And like, I can't control them. So I, apparently they're not a prisoner I'm supposed to free. So I guess this means I'm supposed to kill them. Let's hope so. Okay. Whew. That scared me for a second there. All righty. So again, we'll look at that tomorrow. Pretty much all the last ones, like once you get past the first couple, is just if you kill everything on the board, you win. Um, so we will say work. Five start. Save. And that will do it. So thank you, anyone who was watching now or in the future. Hope I see you around next time. Bye-bye.